Today we're celebrating black heritage with a look at what could be a turning point in a cure for an autoimmune condition. Vitiligo can make someone a potential target for bullying and misunderstanding. Now a growing and groundbreaking new treatment developed by Northwestern University scientists could change lives of those who have to live with this. Here's Natalie Martinez. Homer. Derek Brinkman has been living with the skin disease vitiligo for a decade. No melanin, no pigment, no nothing. Since he first noticed it on his feet at 12 years old, the autoimmune disease has changed the 22-year-old's appearance dramatically. Over time, it has spread more, like it spread more to my face. My hands are now like completely white. Opposed like a year ago, they were more brown. And back in grade school, he says kids, even some adults, weren't so nice about the changes. Fifth and sixth grade is like when the bullying just really started. And I would do things, you know, to get out of school, like fake being sick and whatever. Because of the stress, it can cause vitiligo. We met up with the now 22-year-old at an Oak Forest hotel where he opened up about the loss of skin color that can affect any part of the body, but usually more noticeable in people with darker skin. Singer Michael Jackson had it. Model Winnie Harlow embraces it. For regular folks, Derek found groups like AVRF, American Vitiligo Research Foundation, and Vit Friends support group have been instrumental in maintaining his positivity as an adult, hearing how it's affected others as well. She's like, I've been called like a cow before because I've like different colored skin. And it's just, it's so sad to hear about that. It's not contagious. Northwestern University researcher Dr. Caroline Lapool tells us that about half to 2% of the world's population has vitiligo, which can last for several years or be lifelong. Treatment may improve the appearance of the skin, but it doesn't cure the disease. Today, after 30 years of her own research with lab mice. This is definitely a high, high point. This lead scientist says she's got a major breakthrough. It's a very benign compound that we think can help the immunosuppression that we're trying to achieve with medications. This could be really impactful either as a standalone uh, treatment and uh, or as a as a supportive treatment. At her lab in the Feinberg School of Medicine, she tells us how her studies on lab mice are hopeful. A difference of more than 70 percent in pigment loss in if the mice were treated with our drug. The next step is to get a pharmaceutical company on board to eventually get a therapy approved for human application. Natalie Martinez, NBC5 News. That's wonderful to hear, yeah. yeah.